Hey everybody, I'm Mark and welcome to this video. So we're going to be doing an album listen, an album review of For Eve, the first album. So without any further ado, I'm going to go through each track with the lyrics up and then give my thoughts on each song and then I'm going to be listening. It's going to be edited down for copyright reasons, but let's get through this and let's go with the first song, which is Forever. Okay, so I've heard this so far, this song. Get you hypnotized. It's really nice to be able to listen to something again and get more familiar with it. I didn't know it was Toom 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 Toom. I thought it was Boom. Okay, next song is Bomb. First song so far that I haven't heard yet. Still sounds like. Yeah, it's still a beat. Or if the whole album is going to be a beat. I like that bit. All right, we're going up like stairs. Nice. That chorus is catchy. I like the the beat of the la la la. Light it up. So next song is like a blink. Right, there's less English in this one. Nice. All right. Okay, I didn't expect to see that. Blink, blink, blink. Very playful flicks and cries in the vocals. Okay, next song is No One. Song four, No One. Okay, I like the production of this. It sounds kind of familiar, actually. Okay, I like it. It's a little bit more R&B sounding. So far I've noticed that each of their choruses are kind of upbeat, even though this was a slower song. The tempo seems to pick up with the choruses in each song. I like this one the most so far. Mm. Like the synth. Reminds me of video games a little bit. The video games that I liked as well. I like that. I'm gonna put a heart next to that one. Cause I, I enjoyed that one. That's definitely my kind of vibe, my kind of jam. That I'd listen to it in the car. I like that. Number five, test me. I don't know if there's English lyrics, you know? I'm trying to find English lyrics. Okay, we got the English lyrics for this one. Kinda of sounds like 2004, 2005 pop. Hey. I like that. Da, 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 da. Oh, it's just again. Makes sense. Test me. Don't test me. Don't try me. Don't compare me. I like this one as well. I think this one will grow more though by listening to it a few times because it sounds like one to sing along. They sound really good together actually in unison. Nice. I'm gonna put a heart next to that one too. Number six, casual. Mm. I like how they play with the sounds when they're like, the talk, sing, and go up. Yeah, they play around with the tempo. Okay, track seven, which I've reacted to the music video before. I've heard this before. This is Ooh La La. Oh, there's another ad lib in the back. It's very quiet though. I wish it was a bit louder. And I can hear that the sub vocals in the back very quiet. So I like that one too. This is the technically the last track. This is track eight because then track nine is the bonus track. So this is track eight. Looking, looking. Mm-hmm. I like the vocals. Arrangement of them. I have to get used to some of the switch-ups because I get used to one sound and then it switches all the... There's definitely a theme with the sounds. But I'll mention all that at the end of this review. Uh, 
Okay. <laughs> I was like, where are we going with this? All right, so this is the last track. This is the bonus track. I'm not sure how to pronounce this one. Um, yes, let's get into this one. Let's hear how it sounds. Okay, well, it sounds like a ballad, and we'll see if it stays a ballad, because they've been switching up a lot of their songs by the chorus. I was hoping for that. I, I wanted this song, this ballad, to consistently stay within the pocket of the sound that it's given, and it is. The vocal sound really, really nice. It's a little breathy there, which adds to the delicacy. Oh no. I like this one a lot. Hey, Hey. Uh, I like that. I like that a lot. Thought JoJo was coming on then. Get out. Anyway, um, I put a like next to that one too. In conclusion, the songs that I put hearts next to is No One, Test Me, Ooh La La, and the bonus track, which I'm not sure the English name for this. But what I liked about that song is you can hear the vocals more because with the other tracks, um, it was kind of a combination between a lot of production with the beats and the breakdown and the, the beat switches. And with the bonus track, it consistently stayed a, a ballad and it was able to hear them kind of harmonize and do ad libs and it was more room for them to showcase their vocals there. So that's why I appreciate it about that, because I always like at least one or two songs where you can really hear people singing as a group, especially. So that's what I liked the most about that one. I think what I like, but also maybe don't like about the album is it's, it depends on the mood, because a lot of the songs have a similar kind of structure to them, as in... Uh, within the chorus, there's a repetitiveness of the words, which happens in a lot of pop songs anyway. You know, like the yeah, 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 or ooh la la la, that happens a lot. So the only thing where that can be a con, in, in my opinion, is it's going to sound very similar, which is a good thing if you really like that. So then they're kind of giving you more of, of the same. So if you like this, this album's going to have more of that style. But then if you didn't, then there isn't as much um, variation. That that's, that that's the reason behind it. So it depends. You could like listen to one of the tracks for that kind of sound and then something else as well. So, so that's probably where my picks are, are the way they are is because I like variation. If I like one song, I'm not gonna like everything sounding like that one song in that one listen. So I would have liked a little bit more variation, but the good thing about this is there's plenty of songs there for them to perform live with really good dance routines and visuals. So they're coming across to me more as an upbeat group. I think um, there's other groups out there like that as well, where it's mostly going to be upbeat songs and less ballads which isn't a bad thing, I'm just expressing my opinion. on I, I like a little bit of variation within the style and sounds. But to have four songs that I like on an album of nine songs is pretty much, it's pretty good. It means like I can listen to all of it and it all sounds really cool and I, I like the melodies, but I really like four of them. So those four songs are added to my liked lists in Spotify, so I'll be listening to that when I'm driving. So it's pretty good. But yeah, I like the bonus track the most. That was really good. And then I think next place would be... Um, Test Me, then No One, and then Ooh La La. I think today I'm more in like the ballad mood. I think that might be what's going on because I feel a bit more chill and relaxed today. So yeah, that was my album review, listening to the first album by For Eve. And I think there's more videos as well to check out from this album that I haven't seen the music videos to or live performances and dance practices. So what happens is when I do at least five or more videos on an artist, I create a playlist. So for right now, they're added to, they're added to the T-Pop Thai Music Reactions playlist, which I'll link here 
in the cards. Leave your suggestions below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next videos. Bye.